Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Benizam Malkwe of Living Streams International bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online using uh, uh, feeding on the hospitality of La Beach Hotel. We're so grateful to them. This morning I'd like to capture my thoughts in a much more sober way and I'd like to capture my thoughts with the words please don't shoot me, I'm for you. You know, one of the people who fascinates me in the Bible is Samson. Judges 13, Judges 14, and a, an interesting story unfolds of a young man so anointed and so powerful, and he had a purpose. Right from the pregnancy, what the Bible said, what, what God said was that he will begin to deliver Israel from the hands of the Philistines. So his purpose was spelled out clear. He was there to help the, Philistine, the, the, the Israelites. He was there to deliver them out of the hands of the Philistines. He was there for their, for, their, for their deliverance. He was there to break the shackles that holds them. He was there to relieve them of the chains of the, of the, of the oppressive Philistines. He was there to, to make sure that the Philistines don't have dominion and rule over the people of Israel. He was there for that purpose. Then one time I was reading the story when the Bible said that the Philistines came to the Israelites and told them, listen, this Samson is a troublemaker and he's really worrying us. So you know what to do? Give him to us. Otherwise, uh, scatter. You know, the Philistines asked for the head of Samson. And they said to the Israelites, betray him to us. Give him to us. Deliver him to us. And guess what? The people of Israel, the Bible says the men of Judah, the people of Judah went down to Samson to arrest him and to go and deliver him. The same people he had been asked to, 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 to free. The same people he has been asked to deliver from the hands of the Philistines. The same people he has been asked to fight for. The same people he has been asked to help against them. Guess what the Israelites did? They went and made a pact with the, with the, with the Philistines to hand over Samson to the Philistines. To hand over Samson to the Philistines. And then to my greatest curiosity, one of my greatest curiosities, Samson then said to them, you know what? I will go to the Philistines. I'll go with you so that you people are absorbed from the promise you made to deliver me. So you people are absorbed from the fear you had that if you don't deliver me, I am there to fight them for you. But if it bothers you, I will go. You know what? Then Samson made a solemn plea. He said, promise me that you will not fall upon me yourself. Please don't shoot me yourself. I am for you. That's what Samson was saying. Now I... That was a very painful thing for me. How sad it is that sometimes the very same people that God has sent to help us, we end up shooting them. We end up telling stories about them. We end up circulating gossip, very negative things about them. We end up sending them all sorts of, sending people all sorts of wrong information about them, false suits about them, when we are the reason why they are having the fight. The Philistines were the reason uh, the Israelites were the reason Samson was fighting the Philistines. Israel was the reason. But they chose to betray him. They chose to deliver him into them. And they were not even ashamed. They, they will not stand by him. How sad it is that sometimes people that God has sent to help us, we rather kill them. It is convenient for us. It will be safe for us. It is better for us to sacrifice them for our peace or for what we see, we can get ahead. So we sacrifice them. But they are the very same people that God wants to use to help us. Look at what Samson said. Please don't shoot me. Promise me you won't kill me yourself. You know, here's the interesting thing. David was God's gift to King Saul against the Philistines. Where Saul could not go, what, what Saul could not fight, what Saul was afraid, what Saul was tormented, David was the solution that God gave to, to Saul. And said, Saul, I'm bringing you a helper. 
But Saul's jealousy and Saul's, Saul's insecurity and his inferiority and everything, his, his desire for the praise of people, listening to even the wrong songs, drove David away. And in the end, guess what? The Philistines were the people who killed Saul and decapitated him and nailed his head to the walls of Bishan. Sometimes the very same people that God has sent to, to fight certain warfares for us, God sent them. God sent them to fight some warfares for us out of the present convenience and out of the pre present expediency and to look good to people and to look accepted to people. We sacrifice them. I can promise you that your warfare is going to come and those people are not going to be there. There's a particular war coming to King Saul. There's a particular warfare coming to you and you will need David. If David is not around, you will lose that war and you pay a price with it. Please, don't shoot. Please don't shoot me. I'm for you, not against you. Is a plea you can listen to or reject. The choice are yours. See you later.